Hey everybody! <coughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have been absent. I know, I know, and I know that the lighting is very dodgy at the moment. <gasps> oh god, this needs to stop happening to me. So today I thought I would film kind of like the general minimal makeup routine I do when I uh, have to go play a hockey match or kind of have to be in public but I'm still doing sport. Um, and a lot of people will probably watch this and be like, girl, why are you even wearing makeup in the first place? Well, I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I'm feeling kind of sick today, and I kind of just want to look a bit fresher. Um, am I going to sweat it all off? Most definitely, yes. Um, but it just makes me feel a bit more comfortable, and it's something that I like to do. So I'm going to be doing that today. Um, it's a super, it's like almost like a barely there makeup tutorial. Also, the neighbor's dogs haven't stopped barking for like the last two hours, so I apologize if that happens. Let's zoom in. Okay, we're super close. Wow, my hair looks really nice. Okay, so I'll start off with my skin because honestly I'm really not doing much to my eyes at all. Um, I've already applied a moisturizer and then I've also been quite generous with sun cream because I'm going to be playing in the sun and I would hate for my face to get sun damage. Um, if I can get any foundation out, that would be great. Okay, so I'm taking my Maybelline 24 hour full camera, I don't know. And I'm truly taking the smallest amount. And because my skin is really highly moisturized and kind of a little bit oily from the sun cream, I'm going to try and blend it out so it looks as if it doesn't exist. I'm going to use a beauty blender today. Oh, it's not actually a beauty blender. I'm not sure which sponge this is. And this is actually just a bit of rose water, which I really like to use to dampen my beauty blender. <gasps> Battery low? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, I'm going to blend out this foundation, charge my battery for a bit, and then I'll be back. Okay, we're back. I charged my battery a little bit, so hopefully it can get through this video. So I obviously blend out my foundation, um, and I spot conceal some of my blemishes a bit. Um, I'm going to be using a concealer, a platform concealer today. This is from MAC. I have no idea what shade it is because the stick is gone. Um, I kind of like to use a more foolhardy um, concealer rather than a liquid one just because I feel like it holds up a bit longer. So I'm just going to take that on my finger and I'm just going to pat it under my eyes just to brighten up those dark circles. And I'm not trying to hide them completely, I'm just trying to just brighten them up a little bit because I have been having some sleepless nights, I've got a bit of a cough, so yeah, you can just see the difference already, how it just brightens it up a little bit and makes it look a little bit healthier and fresher. Also, I did like full glam makeup last night for work and there are still remnants of it on my face. I think the hardest part about getting makeup off is eyeliner on your waterline. Good God. Okay, I'm also just going to take a little bit of that along my eyelids just to hide any redness and veins. I can't tell if my eyelids are super red because I'm sick or if they're super red because I did a like, um, burgundy eyeshadow look last night. I can't tell if it's staining or not. There we go. Make me look a little bit more awake. And then I'm just going to take it on a couple of areas where I want... To just be a little bit brighter. When I'm doing makeup and I know that I'm going to be doing exercise and sweating, I also take into consideration the, the way that it'll wear off. And that's what I appreciate about this foundation or this base routine is that as I sweat, it doesn't look like there's makeup like falling off my face. It kind of just slowly starts to dissipate and disappear. Um, I'm going to take my Catrice Cosmetics Nude Illusion Loose Powder. And I'm going to just use a little bit of that under my eyes and on my eyelids. I'm not going to set anywhere else on my face. Just because I feel like it's pretty matte already and I don't need to. I've only ever used one loose powder besides this one and that's the Essence one. And I must say I'm really enjoying this one a lot better than the Essence one. I think this one has like a way more finer mill and... It doesn't look like powder on the skin. So the Essence one, you could see it had like a bit of a, a papery 
crinkly paper sort of look under the eyes. Um, I obviously used it until it was done just because I don't want to waste it and I don't want to buy excess products. Um, but I'm really enjoying this Catrice one. So if I had to repurchase, definitely the Catrice. Cool. So that's all I'm going to do in terms of setting. Um, I'm going to go in with the lightest wash of bronzer. Um, just so it re-adds the dimension into the face. This is my Essence one. And as I said before, I don't want to overdo it with the powders because they generally tend to wear worse than cream products. In Cape Town and South Africa, if you're watching this and you are not from South Africa, we are currently transitioning into spring. First of September will be the first day of spring in South Africa. Really excited to do like a pretty pinky spring look. Maybe I'll do a couple. But my skin is taking a hammering. It is so dry. Like I will put on three moisturizers and a sun cream and I'll still be hella dry. Just a way to cookie crumbles. Okay, I'm going to take a pretty peachy uh, blush. And this is the Enthusiasm Peach Compact Mineral Blush. Like so. I've been using this a lot recently on my channel. I'm kind of taking it all the way into my nose. And over the nose. So it looks like a natural kind of little bit of a sunburn. And I kind of sweep it all around the face just to give like a pretty natural flush. It's so weird. I feel like this blush always shows up a lot more pigmented on camera. But in, in real life, it's super muted and natural and beautiful. Really like that. Okay, I'm going in my trusty Wet n Wild Precious Petal Highlighter. And I'm kind of just taking that more so on the outside of my eye. And then the excess product I will drag down onto my cheekbone. Just gonna take a little bit above the eyebrows to make my eyebrows look higher. And just along the brow bone. And then I'm gonna take my finger and pop a little dash in the inner corner. Which, once again, will just make you look a little bit more awake. Okay, eyebrows. I'm just going to kind of naturally throw in some extra hair strokes. Fill in all the gaps and make them as even as they can be. And I will be right back. Okay, eyebrows are on. Um, just to make sure that that pencil doesn't run as I sweat, I'm just going to take some clear brow gel and set them. red such bad lighting today i'm gonna film another video later on it's currently 20 past 11 in the morning i'm gonna film another video i hope later on this evening i'll see if the light works better here in the evening it might okay what i'm just gonna do is i'm just gonna take a okay i should my makeup brush is dirty what's new because I'm house sitting at the moment, so I don't have all my stuff with me. So I have like very limited resources here at the moment. Okay, so it does have a bit of pigment on it. I've tried to get off as much as I can. And maybe I should just see what I can get off with this. Let me run it through the crease. Oh yeah, that works. Just setting the concealer. What I would have done had I not done this was just dip into my um, bronzer and just run it through the crease. Just taking a tiny amount underneath. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, um, mascara. Obviously I recommend waterproof if you're going to be sweating it off. This is the Hair Gorgeous Pure Wild Volumizing Mascara. 
which is all natural and toxin free. Anyway, so it doesn't clarify that this is a waterproof mascara, but I feel like it's great in terms of non-transferable. You see how much of a difference that makes? I love mascara. If I could pick two products, two makeup products, that I could only use the rest of my life, would be mascara and probably concealer. And then another tip, I, if I had a nude or white eyeliner with me, I would have run that through the waterline, just to kind of get rid of some more redness. But besides that, I am done with the eyes. Um, for my lips, I'm going to take the Badger Rose Tourmaline Mineral Lip Tint, which is just a pink lip balm. Just run that across my lips. And then I'm just going to take, okay, this was from a cheap makeup store knockoff, but I'm just going to take this kind of like a peachy nude, and I'm just going to dab that in the middle, and blend that out with my finger. Yeah, so let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so you see, it's a pretty natural look. You can obviously tell I'm wearing makeup. I'm not trying to hide that I'm wearing makeup. But going into something like this where I'm playing sports and I'm around people just makes me feel a bit more comfortable to know that I look healthier than I am. What I do need, though, is some more bronze on my neck. I'm, am I the only person in the world whose face is darker than their body? It's because I have freckles, so it's not like essentially my face is not darker. It's just because I have freckles, it seems darker. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's better. Okay, cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is kind of just what I would do on a daily basis in terms of my sport makeup routine. Um, if I remember, which is unlikely, I will check in and show you what it looks like after my hockey match. I am a sweater of note, so like I, it drips off my face and runs down my neck, sort of a thing. Um, but it all wears off kind of in the same way. So hopefully it'll still look good. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know every time I post a video. And leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'm trying to do a video every day at the moment. I'm not succeeding. But I need some more content ideas. And with that, hopefully I can start filming some more as well. Gosh, my hair looks fabulous. Wow. Wow, girl. You really got it going on. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!